welcome back to another review. So today we're doing the e.l.f. Cosmetics No Budge Matte Shadow Stick in the color Groovy, because of course I have to have Groovy, baby. So, these are new. They just had like the regular No Budge Shadow Sticks before, but they weren't matte. I think this is the first of the mattes that I'm trying. So, on the back it reads, This No Budge Creamy Matte Eyeshadow features a long-lasting formula designed to stay in place. The twist-up design and smooth formula allows for easy application as an eyeshadow or a liner to create a range of looks. Directions swipe on across the eyelid or lash line and blend with fingertip or brush. Allow to set where alone, under, or over eyeshadow for a custom look. So, these are $5.00. Yes, they've gone up a dollar. A lot of elf stuff has gone up a dollar or two lately. But they are vegan and cruelty-free. They are clean beauty. But yeah, so I'm going to go grab a blending brush. I'm going to try and do it with my fingers, but just in case it's not blendy enough for my liking, because this is a pigmented shade, I'm going to get a brush real quick. So hold on. Okay, brought me a little blendy brush, just in case. But we're going to try and do this with fingers first, because I've been finding with that one blue one that I initially thought I hated, apparently blending it with my fingers, I like the really soft glam look I get out of it that way, so we're gonna try both ways. So as you can see, it's nice and pigmented, nice and dark, let's just see what one swipe gets us, ooh, yes, yes, this is gonna be a good autumnal color, I'm going to love this, you know I love me my orange eyeshadows, oh my gosh. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in first. This feels even creamier than like the regular ones, which is weird for it being matte. I'm gonna get right down to the lash line first. Okay, I'm gonna go in and blend, so it's alright that it's messy right now. I want it to go a little bit above the crease so that it'll be, like, visible when my eyes are open, because otherwise, yeah, I have very hooded lids, in case we have not noticed somehow. Yeah, actually, we may not need the brush. Actually, that's really pretty. Really messy right there, but I can fix that after. I'm gonna go up to about here. Again, just to really lock in the color on the lid. And I might blend that inner corner again. I'm literally just tapping in case you're wondering how I'm doing it. Not rubbing, not swiping, just dotting. And actually this time I might grab this real quick. That's really pretty. Like, guys, look at that. That is beautiful. I mean, I know you guys are probably going, Jen, your application is shit. And honestly, yeah, I don't disagree. But the color, though, oh my god, I'm in love with this. This is going to be like a fall staple. I can tell already. My goodness. Even this is literally just first run with it. Like, oh my god, my fingers. But yes, this. This is everything. Oh my god, I love it. This is so pretty. Okay, time to go in and do the other side now. I'm sure it'll go much faster and easier when I'm not on camera. I'm not holding a mirror, because I'll just be doing it in the bathroom on a, on a normal day. But for you guys, we do it here. Let's 
struggling because I usually hold my lids taut with my fingers as I do this, but again, I don't have enough hands to do all the things at once, so... And this is without any kind of shadow primer on or anything, because I find the No Bud Shadow Sticks seem to work better without primer, weirdly enough. Only eyeshadow in my collection I can say that of. So pretty. So freaking pretty. I am in love. Oh my god. Oh my god, yes. This is like my new favorite thing. Holy crap. Expect to see a lot of orange this fall from me, no doubt. Yes, I love the crap out of this guy. So freaking pretty. Oh my god. Yes. Okay, take it here. So then you put it back in. But like I said, with these, you have to do one side at a time because they do dry down fast. So. Any kind of blending you might do, you gotta do it quickly, because otherwise you are effed in the A. But yeah, look at that, guys. That's so pretty. I am in love with it. Absolutely, stunningly, five stars in love with it. It is worth every penny of the five bucks I spent on this. Holy crap. This may be, genuinely, my new favorite orange eyeshadow, and that is saying something. Those of you who are not new here know I have... Many, many oranges in my eyeshadow collection because I freaking love how it looks. But this one, this may take the cake. This, I can't believe that this one actually may have just taken the title. And of course, its color name would be Groovy. That just adds to it for me. But yeah, so absolutely highly recommend. If orange isn't your thing, they do have it in other colors. So don't worry, you, you don't have to lock into orange just to be in on this but yeah anyway those are my thoughts so you guys know what to do if you like this video go ahead and give it a like if you're not already and you'd like to be click subscribe hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload leave comments down below make sure you're following my social media accounts my facebook fan page my twitter my instagram my ebay my reddits everything and more it's all down below and if you like what i do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it the donation link as always is down in the description anyway guys till next time see ya